Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 11.1 vectors. 11.1 .1 represents chapter 11, section 1 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Firstly, what is the definition of a vector? Ladies and gents, a vector has both magnitude, which is a length, and it also has a direction. So over here, we have the vector A to B, which is denoted by a squiggle. The vector B to A is going in the opposite direction, so this time it is minus a squiggle. Here is a triangle. The vertices are labelled as A, B, C, and you've got the directions labelled. The vector A to C is given by the vector A to B plus the vector B to C. What is the definition of parallel vectors? This is very, very important. A vector A squiggle is parallel to the vector B squiggle if A squiggle is equal lambda lots of B squiggle. In other words, the vector A is a scalar multiple of the vector B. So lambda is a scalar, it's a fixed number. These are the key facts of 11.1 .1 vectors. I'll be implementing these key facts within this particular exam style question. Let's have a look at the exam style question. OABC is a quadrilateral. The vector O to A is given by A squiggle. The vector O to C is given by 3B squiggle. And the vector O to B is given by A squiggle plus 2B squiggle. Part A, find in terms of A squiggle and B squiggle, Part 1, the vector A to B, and part 2, the vector C to B. Firstly, I'm going to label the directions on the diagram. So what we have here is the vector O to A. So here's my direction. Then we have the vector O to C. Then we have the vector O to B. Okay, so O to A is the vector A squiggle. O to C is the vector 3B squiggle. And O to B is the vector a squiggle plus 2b squiggle. Now let's have a look at part A, part 1. So we want to work out the vector A to B. So A to B, if I draw the direction, is given by A to O plus O to B. This is equal to minus A we're going in the opposite direction of that arrow, plus the vector O to B, which is A plus 2B. Okay, so minus A plus A is just 0, it's a 0 vector, plus 2B, which is just the vector 2B. Okay, let's have a look at part 2 of the question. So now we want to work out the vector C to B. Let's go back to the diagram. So we want the vector C to B, that is your arrow. So how do we get from C to B? Well, we can do C to O plus O to B. C to O, we're going in the opposite direction of the arrow, so it will be minus 3B plus the vector O to B. So the vector O to B is A plus 2B. So we can now simplify this, we get A minus B. So that completes part A, part 1 and part 2. Let's move on to part B. So ladies and gents, now what we want to do is show that the vector A to B is parallel to the vector O to C. So what we have here is that the vector A to B is equal to 2B. This can be written as... 2 over 3 lots of 3b. Okay, so 2 over 3 times 3b is basically 2b. But this is basically 2 over 3 lots of the vector O to C. So what we have here is that the vector A to B is equal 2 over 3 lots of the vector O to C. Hence, we can clearly see that the vector A to B is a scalar multiple of the vector O to C, where lambda, the scalar, is equal to 2 over 3. Therefore, we can now conclude that A to B, this vector here, is parallel to the vector O to C. That there, ladies and gents, completes part B and this exam style question and also this video, 11.1 .1 vectors. 
you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.